Hi, I'm Neil Woods from Baser Steak. On today's late lunch, Bookie Sinbad cooks for Jules Holland and Jennifer Saunders. Meat eater with no known nut allergy, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Cue titles, Ian. Witchell. Uh, welcome to this late lunch, the welcome mat of Wednesday night television. Just wipe your feet and come on in. Everybody else does. Cooking today is a Brookie star who's a real gas, and I think you're going to dig him. I see what you've done there. It's <laughs> so fun. The audience didn't think. But anyway, <laughs> he's like a stone going into an eternal lake. Right. Just one on. plop and then nothing. <laughs> yep, he's a lovable scally and Brookside's fast food answer to Ian Beale. But a lot funnier and better looking. Yeah. It's Sinbad, oh, in reality, known as Michael Starr. Michael Starr! <laughs> Michael's late lunch is the front legs of the finest female comedy cow since Ermintrude. It's the one, the only, the absolutely fabulous Jennifer Saunders! <laughs> Joining Jennifer is, for me, probably the sexiest piano-playing man in music. Is it Richard Clederman? Not today. <laughs> <laughs> he... Not Clederman for Sue. He is suave, sophisticated and named after a country. Is it Cuba Gooding? No, no. doll. <laughs> it's the man who can woogie and indeed boogie for me any time he likes. It's Jules Netherlands. Yes! <laughs> Hosts and don't want to monopolize our guests, we want to share them with you. Makes you sick, doesn't it? Okay, so if you want to call and ask Jules whether he's ever gigged with Chaz and Dave. Or ask Jennifer if maybe she's going to do Panto this year. I don't know, it's possible. Then it was a joke. <laughs> of course she's not doing Panto. Of it's... course she's not literally going to be doing buttons at Shepton Mallet. <laughs> it was like a conceit. I've finished now. <laughs> Now. Yes, you may. I've turned. There you go. <laughs> then please call us. Call us now. Call us now. Oh, yes. On 0990 for lunch. That's 0990 I was on Richard and Judy. <laughs> I am Richard and Judy last week in jeans. <laughs> 86. I was on the National Lottery live last week. <laughs> 24. I was on Crime Watch last week. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want, you can you can easily uh, fax us. You can do so by just uh, dialing on the fax thing. Oh nine nine oh two lunch. That's oh nine nine oh twenty five. I say go. <laughs> the next sequence will be then stalling for time. Eighty six. <laughs> I say oh dear. <laughs> and then stalling for more time. Twenty four. I say go. Oh dear, a female dear. <laughs> The 
udders of comedy. comedy. <laughs> the milk is sour. <laughs> the milk is sour. Don't drink there. At this point of the show, I usually introduce the band with a with a you know a, a whisk of my bingo wings, a couple of poorly conceived puns, and some lame sexual innuendo. Followed by an early eighties dance maneuver. The eighties is alive. <laughs> Today we thought, as uh, Jules Holland is coming on the show, we'd all get back to our roots. <laughs> That's right, Sue. On your side, sister. Okay. Give man. me the five. Okay. Good for you. Now you probably won't be aware that uh, outside of the show, Steve, Matt, Dylan, Dan, Mel, and I are a six-piece radical free jazz sex tet that drills into the coal face of experimental music. How, sister? It's easy. You just play the instrument. No, how? 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 So how? <laughs> so, lads, right on your side. Lads and lassies of the nation, experience now, if you will, the raw sound of jazz. jazz you, you like, like it? it. Now, I should say, OK, at this point, we're not doing this as a desperate attempt to get on later with Jules Holland. But, uh, Jules, if you are watching in the dressing room, then... Hello! <laughs> and we are available every Friday for the full hour, just like R.E.M. did. Yeah, Stevie, man. Good to see you, man. Slap me some skin. Cats. Yeah, man. Cats. Cats. Good to see you, man. Lovely man. Good to get back to the, to the rawness of music. You ready to set sail on the sturdy hovercraft of jazz? Cool, cool daddy, daddy, daddy And cool mummy -o. On your side. On your side. On your side. Now, audience, we'll need some help. I'll need some help with my beard and why I needed that for this conceit, I've no idea. We want you to, you know, it's an organic process, jazz. We need you to chuck in to, 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 or even some suggestions. <laughs> OK. <laughs> audience, loose and limber now, Thanks audience. Come on, me, breathe. Then, loose and limber. <sighs> breathe. What we'd like you to do now Feel is empty. just throw us... My moustache is fast <laughs> coming up. <laughs> Sorry about this. We'd like to just throw a concept at us, OK? Throw a concept, Anything. a foodstuff concept. So if you will now... Rise! Rise! <laughs> We wanted artichoke! It's oh, wrong, oh. OK? So here for you live is our, is our free <laughs> jazz trilogy, RT Show. The three. Jules, have you watching, mate? Okay. Uh, what key is it in? What key is it in, Dan? Key will only lock you into a prison that we call conventional music. Let randomness <laughs> and sheer noise <laughs> set you free. So here we go, RT Choke. It's a trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> for artificial pesticides choke for our lungs breathing in environmental biohazards choke choke Cough. choke but on a more superficial level artichoke you're simply a vegetable and you make you make great soup <laughs> There's no place for gratitude in jazz. Jazz is dead. <laughs> Long live. Jazz! Jazz! jazz. No! Woo. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, lads. Thanks, it was beautiful. It took me right back to my musical origins. I'm afraid now you have to go back to playing your conventional music. Slum it now for, uh, for this show. Oh, so uh, if you could fill in for 24 seconds while Mel mooches. <laughs> Known as the window cleaning, body burying, cooker exploding, two timing, fish and chips serving Sinbad. But the Brookside credits just call him Michael Stark! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Michael. Michael, welcome. You're welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 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 How are you doing, mate? I'm fine, mate. I'm fine. I'm hungry. I could just so, do this. So, so what are you cooking? What are you well, I'm going to cook roast chicken. Shall I start now? Shall we start doing I'll tell the audience present? what we're going to have. Today okay, we're going to have roast chicken. <laughs> roast chicken. <laughs> Did you spot that? Roast chicken. Dinner! Ta da Roast chicken a la done. <laughs> Some 
faster so Thank fast. Thank you, Sue. Ivor Badil wrote that joke. <laughs> now, Michael, <laughs> what, what are you going to do first off? Well, 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 I'm going to baste it, you see, with a bit of butter, and then I'm going to stuff it with a few cloves and a bit of lemon. Oh, very yeah. good. That's an old cool. tip. I like your sort of mini little Do you like it? Son, you be a spatula boy. I like <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna throw that in. And I'm going to get some lemon. Why, why are you cooking? Not, not why are you here. Well, we want you here. We love you here. Thank why, you. Why thank are you, you cooking you. roast chicken? Well, because uh, because roast chicken dinner is Jules Holland's favourite meal, and I'm a big Jules Holland fan. And I thought, mm. well, I'll come on and creep around Jules and get some free tickets. Ah, uh, very good. So? now Brookie is on every night this week, climaxing in Lindsay Corkill's wedding on the Friday. Ah. So far, Max has been seen by Jackie, the surrogate mother of his child. Can noodling with Faye, and Jimmy Corkle is setting out to kill the drug dealer who murdered his son. Marriage, death, child custody, drugs, and you get a new lodger yeah. in Mr O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> were, were you a bit disappointed? Not really, that's all the sort of stuff, that's just the meat around the real, the real fibre of the show, which is my storyline about the lodger. Oh. That's what I think so, anyway. Have I'm you... telling everyone, anyway. <laughs> have you sorted out the old sleeping arrangements for the old wedding? Yes, we have, actually, yeah. Um, the granddad goes in with the dad, the mum goes in with the daughter, and me and Tina end up in the garage. So... Good Can't call. take better than that, and no, it's just usually funny, as everyone, everyone, <laughs> everyone seems to think. It went better than dinner, so don't, uh, <laughs> don't, don't worry for you one second. You didn't see me stuffing the lemon in there. Oh, that's very good. Oh, are we going to do something with the pan? Yes, we are. We're going to put some potatoes in there, aren't Alrighty. we? Now, where, where are me Robins? Oh, the old potatoes. Oh, there they are. Yep, the old ro Robins, Robin, Robin Hoods, Hoods, Buds. Yep. Do you want to do that? Do you want to do that? Yeah, put them in there. I can't... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Don't do this at home, kids. Sorry about that. There you is that, are they okay in there? Yeah, they're fine, and okay. they're going to part boil before we roast them. All right. I can't believe Max Farnham's leaving. I can. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, he's going. Yes, yes, he's going to be sadly missed. Stephen sadly. Spinder. Stephen Pinder. 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 Stephen Pinder. 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 Yeah. I think, I think we're the sort of the kiss of death, because he actually came on our show. Really? And now he's leaving, so hopefully... Oh, that won't happen. Right. <laughs> won't happen to you. I don't see anything anyway. about the kiss of death. You're known as the kiss of death. I am actually. Why? Am why, why is that? Because every female, you know, that I've kissed in the show in the last ten years has been written out. Oh. Unfortunately. So, who, who's next? Well, I'm who's trying next? desperately to kiss uh, Ron Dixon, but <laughs> I, I, no, I'm not Vince. Oh, Vince. 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 No, we love you. Vince. No, no. I'm sorry. To everyone, I guess they're all sort of backing away from me. I think it's the uh, lemon. Michael, might have to put that into the. We oven might have to now. do that, might Let's we? I should use that. my gloves, but. Uh... Where's the oven gone? Oven yeah, used to be there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's actually not. <laughs> it's the <light> <laughs> there. Just testing you. It was always there. Oh. Do you remember? Always there. See how we did it with as asbestos hands. Dull, wrong shelf. Wrong. That's oh, not was it really? Think. Wrong shelf. <laughs> yeah. Wrong it really shelf. Does. <laughs> Well, dinner! Ivor Badil's gag. Now, um, <laughs> Susie, Susie Sue. Sorry, Michael. Be with you right, don't, Be with that's you fine. Okay. Sue, have you heard anything from the Queen about our request to do a turn at Charlie's 50th birthday bash at Buckingham Palace? I have, yeah. I've just got her reply here, actually, on official paper. Uh, I shall read it in the manner of Queenie herself. Um, Dear Mel and Sue, <laughs> thank you very much for your kind offer. However, the cabaret already has been confirmed. We have a pantomime cow, Camilla and Fergie. <laughs> the Queen Mother will be jumping out of the birthday cake in the nod, and we will be playing a rousing game of pin the tail on the Princess Anne. <laughs> Yours, Queenie. She signed it Queenie. Very informal, our Queen. So there you go. I'm afraid it's not to the cabaret for us. To my right here, we have... Alison. Hello, Alison. Hi. Now, normally, as you know, we get uh, members of the audience to bring in lunch or late lunch or whatever. <laughs> Today, I've slightly got the jump on them, because I'm not saying, show me your luncheons, I'm saying, show me your handbag, Alison. What have you got in your handbag? I'm asking you to turf... Th Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now I realise why I was told never to wear plastic trousers. <laughs> OK, Alison, can you show us that that's not a handbag, that's a rucksack, love. It's, yeah. it's a, look, a, look, feel the weight of that. OK. Now, what, now, hello, what's in the old... Very large... Do you mind if I have no, a look? Have a look, have a look. Ah, now, what might this be, Alison? <laughs> this might be a copy of my PhD thesis. And what's your PhD thesis on? 
Uh, it's a material science on bone substitutes. Surely there's no substitute for a bone. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think that's what I concluded. And you concluded? Yeah, now, this, yeah. this it is... It took me lots of pages, but I finally got there. Yeah. I'm reading freely here. A network of rods produces low-density open cells. Did you know that, madam? No. Good, <laughs> neither did I. The compositions of cancellous and cortical bone are almost the same. Did you know that, madam? Not at all. Well, then, Alison is educating us all. Now, what are you going to do after your PhD? Are you going to follow the normal sort of strategy of, of PhD graduates? Are you going to work in McDonald's? Oh, well, I... <laughs> So, yeah, so it's, it's yeah. burger and fries, but with the knowledge within that, that, that you've got a bone substitute on the go. Absolutely. I'm a better person for it. I believe so. And <laughs> you're, you're very clever, and I'm slightly frightened by how clever you are. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, normally I sort of joke around and sort of, ha-ha, I'm a bit of a smug in this type of way. But obviously you're a lot brighter than me, so I'm running mm. away from you, lest I'm exposed <laughs> as a fool that I am. I wish you a lot of luck with this. It's PhDs take about 20 years, don't they? Yeah, give or take 10. Do, <laughs> do come back when you finish. Thank I'm you now much. going to literally jostle my buns over here because a man is wearing a Scottish purse, which we call, <laughs> we call a sporran. Can I have a look inside your sporran, sir? You mean indeed, sir. Thank you. What do you have in there? Uh, Can I, do I have to touch there? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not averse. That is... Now, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's not So, mine. <laughs> that wouldn't in any way be an eyelash curler, would it? <laughs> what would be your name? Luscious Lashes. Uh, my name is David. David, that is... That's like the Iron Maiden of, uh, of cosmetics, that one. You have... You've got some... Uh, you've got some scara there for the television. <laughs> and you're basically an eye obsessive, aren't you? Ah, uh, the old contact lens solution. There you go. Good to see you've got your specs on, my love. Now, can I ask why you, sir, are dressed up? Um, well, the thing is, you may say dressed up, but I'm the victim of a terrible crime, unfortunately. What has happened? Was I involved? No, no you weren't. These uh, <laughs> lovely gen ladies and gents to my left and right here, unfortunately, uh, put me under the hammer and uh, I'm just That's being, a crime in itself. Yeah, oh. I know it is, but uh, unfortunately they told me that I was coming down to rub shoulders with some certain celebrities. Well, and they got that wrong, yeah. didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also they told me that there would be a four-course meal involved. They got the food right, though, but... Uh, so I thought I was off to some uh, television Carol awards Smiley, ceremony. Carol Smiley, Vanessa Phelps. Absolutely. <laughs> Chowing <laughs> down. Yeah. And uh, so I ended up here, and I didn't know, you know, where I was going. So, but they got me into... I dusted down the glad rags the here. Tax, yeah. Yeah, and got the, the university bow tie on. And uh, so here I am. But well, listen, unfortunately, I didn't bring my lunch with me. Well, what we'll do then, uh, we're going to throw back to Mel and see how she's doing with the cooking. But I will personally rustle you up a four course dinner. Thanks and I might much. even sort of nibble your ear a bit You're to sort of compensate. So, <laughs> so, I'm not very good at it, but I'll give it my best shot. You're a gentleman. Now, um, Mel, being in the kitchen uh, with Tim Baz, are you concerned about nasty gas explosions? No. No, no, not at all, so there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> 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 Michaela, now we've had a crisis. A crisis oh. has occurred in the kitchen. Michael's broken a nail. Oh, honestly. What am I like? What am I like? Oh. Is, it, is it all right, Dolly? Yeah, I'll be fine. When I get these gloves on, I'll be fine. Okay, let's manoeuvre you a, over. A oh, he's, oh, he's oh, draining. Yeah, 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 I must You're draining. Drain, drain me, spuds. Okay, I must drain they're, par, they're parboiled. There we go. Here we go. Parboiled spuds. I'm sorry, very calendar. familiar. I'll just... You know, I'll just tell the line yes, you were actually, Mel, weren't you? Hey, you were a chef before you were um, an actor, weren't you? Obviously. Yes, I was. I was a far better chef than I am an actor. But I was a chef for a week, and then uh, I was waiting for a job to come up as a, as a burglar alarm engineer. <laughs> so, uh, yes. So you were a burglar alarm engineer? A far better burglar alarm engineer than I am an actor. Which was the noisiest alarm... That's a stupid question, isn't Which it? Is Which was the noisiest alarm you ever engineered? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Anyway, there we go. <laughs> can't believe I asked that. Very, very dull. Uh, <laughs> Michael, <laughs> you've got the old Brookie video out this, this, yes, uh, this week. Yes, yes, we have. It comes out on Friday. What's, what's it called? It's called um, um, the Brookie video. <laughs> Friday, Friday, Friday the 13th. 13th. Friday is it, the 13th. Is it a woo? I think so. Yeah. It's coming out on my birthday, actually, kids, if you want oh, to send me a present to them. Oh, thank you. No. Thank you. Oh. Better wear something from the older. That goes in the top shelf. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. There How? How are you going to celebrate your birthday, Michael? Well, we're, uh, we're all going down to Planet Hollywood for the launch of the video, so... Uh, <laughs> Phil Redmond will probably splash out a lot of money on a woman jumping out of a cake and stuff like that. And a couple of burgers. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's more chance of a burger jumping out of a cake than a woman, but anyway... <laughs> but anyway... You, you are the bit of the joker on the Brookie set, aren't you? Oh, I've yeah. heard. I can be. My moles tell me. One of them. I'm one of them. What do you do? 
Anything, anything for a laugh, anything that will endanger people's lives, anything like that, I will do. I am prepared to do anything. Like what? Like what sort of thing? Tripping people up, you know, dropping your child. <laughs> <laughs> no, not exactly that, but no, anything, anything goes with our place. You know, you just come along and laugh, and sometimes when, you get the work done as well. When you're written out, not assuming that's oh, no, ever I mean, going to happen. That'll be weeks yet. But, weeks. <laughs> when, when you're written out, how yeah. would how do you like to sort of to go, as it were? I don't know. I don't. I don't want to put any ideas in the writers' minds. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd like to just go gracefully and just, you know, Aww. walk out the close with me little bag and, you know, Aww. wave to the to everyone. <laughs> well, why not? Or, um, or executed on guillotine, something like something that. Something dramatic. Something, something <laughs> subtle, yeah, yeah. Groovy. Yeah. Now, uh, Michael, I also hear on the grapevine that you do a bit of a, a Star Wars trilogy oh, of nice. impressions. Oh, yes. Would you please use the trilogy of Star Wars impressions to tell us what's coming up after the break? OK, I'll, uh, I'll need the props, all right? And we've got R2-D2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we've got uh, Chewbacca who goes... <laughs> See you in two semi-finals <laughs> and the crotchet. <laughs> Try any of our standard soft contact lenses, including daily disposables, for five days absolutely free. Specsavers Opticians. Most mums know that the natural way for babies' bottoms to stay healthy is not to wear nappies. Now there's a nappy that lets fresh air circulate. New breathable huggies. They help bottoms in nappies stay fresh and naturally healthy. You can tell a huggies baby because they're so smooth. Healthy, happy huggies. Oh, yeah, it's one of those city types. Always in a bit of a hurry. Right. Let's pick you up and put you down. There, get the next train. <laughs> Wheat crunchies, totally satisfying. Now, even more low prices at Pound Stretcher. No need to get yourself in knots with men's and ladies' velour slippers at 4 99 Look out for this emergency vehicle set or fancy dress-up sets at 9 99 each. Or smile with kids' character hat, scarf and glove sets at 3 99 Pound stretcher. Much more than just great prices. <laughs> Give your hair new strength and shine. Fructus from the Laboratoire Garnier. The first fortifying shampoo with active fruit concentrate. Garnier Fructus. It's proven. The concentrate of vitamins and deep-acting fruit acids in Fructus makes hair up to twice as strong and so smooth it shines. Garnier Fructus, for hair that shines with all its strength. Fructus, the new generation shampoo. Formulated and controlled by Laboratoire Garnier. You Darren? Yeah? Yeah, well, Karen says you're dumped. Thanks. Right. Sad day. Tell someone about it. Yeah, mate, I had to dump my... <laughs> you know what I'm like, Mr. Smooth. BT, it's good to talk.
energized. <laughs> Welcome back to Late Lunch, the show that thinks. With presenters who obviously don't. Later, we'll be performing with Jules Holland and chowing down with the one and only Jennifer Saunders. But before I dish up with Sinbad in the kitchen, it's time to bang the bottom of the sauce bottle that is the news and force out a topical dollop. Mick Jagger is horrified that his 14-year-old daughter has taken to the catwalk and is hanging around with supermodels. Apparently, he feels a Rolling Stones daughter shouldn't gather Kate Moss. <laughs> Thank you very much. George Michael. George Michael has said he intends to marry his long-term boyfriend. They haven't set a time or a place, but will do it at their convenience. <laughs> at that joke. Monica Lewinsky is set to give her first British interview on the one and only Channel 4. Executives said there's only one man for such an important assignment. It had to be a Jon Snow job. <laughs> Off the kitchen with you to see if uh, Sinbad's roast dinner. Dinner, 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 it's dinner, dinner, is ready. Band, some music please to seamlessly cover Mel's clumsy move across a grease studio floor. <laughs> Michelle. What, mate? <laughs> How do you do the second bit of the know, RTD2? Don't... <laughs> <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's groovy. No, I'm made listen, up how's it all going in the It's going really kitchen? good. We've got the, uh, the, the merchant navy nearly done. I'm going to get the, uh, the stuff out the oven now. Gravy. Gravy. Got the chicken. Good. Because that's what we're having. She is familiar, isn't she? <laughs> I <laughs> like it. Dun, 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 dun. And these. Here we go. Now Robin's out, we're nearly there. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Shall I shut the oven door? Why not? Don't want to burn anybody, do we? I'm afraid... Uh... Li <laughs> Wait, listen, Liverpool didn't do very well last night, did they? No, they didn't. Shut up, Mel. Oh, dear. <laughs> are, you, are you a big fan? Yes, a huge big fan. Oh. Yes. I have to have two seats in the stand. <laughs> yep. Do you, do you go... After last night, I'm not, though, no. Oh, well, you weren't, no, you weren't there last night, were you? No, I no. wasn't, unfortunately. No, no, no. I had to get a good night's sleep to prepare all my stuff for this. And, yeah. you know, as you do. As you do. Can I just but... say, welcome to the carvery? Yes. Welcome to the carvery that is that, happening eh? here. It's a Hands of a surgeon. <laughs> very, very strong. Yes, more like Jack the Ripper. Hang on, we're not, right? Yeah, here we go. Does this compare well or badly to the, uh, to the, uh, with the uh, Brookie Canteen? Oh, no, we've got a great chef, Jan. She's a great chef. Oh. But, but the service is a little bit different now that Jean's left. We've got Ronna, her sister-in-law, still works there. Right. They say, but Jean's left, so it's slightly different. But, uh, no, she's a great cook, Jan. What, what's her speciality? Um, lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's, no, she's great. She does loads of things. We'll put some spuds on here, some spuds. I've been assured my hands are clean. Yeah, they are. I have been assured. Do you I'm cook awesome. much at home, Michael? Um, put some gravy on. I'm yeah. a cornflake man, really. Are you? Yeah, you know, and it's terrible. Kids hate having cooked cornflakes. <laughs> but so you're, you're not, not going to yeah. cook this for your for your good lady wife when you get home. I right? might have to. No, she's seen me do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have to. No, yes. Yeah, I must apologise to your wife for handling your your, your love That's handles. Okay. Then I'm sorry. All there, I'm sorry baby. about that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Michael. Can I just say thank you so ruddy much for coming oh, on? It was an absolute okay. pleasure. Thank you. Cheers and good luck with the old vid and yeah. everything else. You're beautiful. Thank you. Just. Hello there, band. Can I ask you a question? Are you hungry? Yes! Audience, are you hungry? Yes! Lionel, are you hungry? <laughs> Let's eat a late lunch! is a man who is famous for tinkling on his piano. How rude. I've heard of damping down the keys, but that's another matter altogether. Let's hope his table manners are slightly better. Please welcome the Baron of Boogie Woogie. It's Jules Holland! <laughs> Joining Jules for a late lunchtime duet is the woman who taught us everything we know, and so she has an awful lot to answer for. Do send the complaints about us to her. It's the one and only Jennifer Saunders! <laughs> Good evening and welcome. Good evening. Can this is I also do? my favourite meal. Is
Is it? Is it? Mm. Oh, that's a top dance move. That's 180 oh. in cooking. Can, can I do what they do in really annoying restaurants? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just chuck it down. Yeah, there you are. Put that on. Oh. You look messy. Put it on your lap. Michael you cooked all this thing. for your good selves. Always. I'm really grateful. Really Shall I tell you what? It really is. It's a, is it your fave? What we call a blinding result. It's uh, a top very, result. Can I explain about why I wanted this now? Yes, you may. It's the smell of mixed, uh, what's that, carrots and those, is that vegetable? Turnips. Turnips. Lovely. Mixed together, mashed. Well, myself and uh, the Mick Talbot, there's the organist who's on tour with me at the moment, you'll see him later in the programme. Mm -hmm. We've decided that we're going to, what we'd like is to open a chain of restaurants called Nans. Where there were just people over the age of 60 making <laughs> lovely <laughs> man's dinners yeah, like this. Old-fashioned good food. And they'd come on, and if, and if you had a bit of a thought, they'd, you know, do that. The spittle on the banky, yeah. yeah. And we'd love that. And only people over 60 would do it. And uh, and, and Michael has done it. He's done it. He's would a you, man. He's a shin. Would you he eat there be... if there was a restaurant for oh, yeah. cooked by them 60s? I think it's a cool idea. I like that. We, we should give some to Mick backstage. Well, we I should. wouldn't qualify so <laughs> No, I know <laughs> that. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know each other, by the, by the way? You have met before, I presume. Have you body but sorry, oh, sorry really <laughs> just tapping in and talking about the mouth interrupted your speech. There was a flying leg that hit you in the eye there out of my mouth. <laughs> How do you two know each other? We used to work on the tube together. Not the underground. Not the underground busking or anything. No, just the, uh, <laughs> the television tube. I remember the that. Show. Oh yeah, man. Sorry, I, I forget you're so young. Yeah, man. <laughs> Jennifer came on once and um, with her, <laughs> fr her, her nice friend Dawn, <laughs> and um, they'd have a lot of sort of good gags and that. And then it was live, like this program. Yeah. So I shan't say what they said, but was we were really nearly, rude. They were nearly taken off. The, it was a very rude joke. That yeah, wasn't us. It was your fault. Blub, blub. No, but it was. You still, can't say no, it now. But you even can't so, say blub, blub. I can't say the joke. <laughs> what it was. No. It'd be like a chain of people telling anecdotes about how they were rude on live television. On live television, always yeah. getting sacked. We did that now. I want to talk about Hello Magazine, Do you, because I know that oh. you read Hello Magazine. Mm. Oh, I was just tucking into my chicken and you've you can, started on my I can reroute the so question. I've got a pile next to my toilet this week. <laughs> Any favourite oh, Hello Magazine, may I add? <laughs> 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 and I, I'm trying to find a good thing to do with old Hello Magazines. The, the phrase burn I, comes to mind. No, so. no, no. <laughs> Have you got any small rodents in the house? It's very yes. good wadding if you put it underneath newspaper for like a guinea pig or... That was your, your oh, guinea pig. It's like a nuclear winter when it goes to the toilet. It would go straight curtains. through. Curtains? Curtains. Could, curtains. You not cut, could you not cut the heads off of some of the people and then get their bodies and then it would be a nice game mixing all the heads and the bodies? Yeah, I yeah. Send that anonymous. Exactly. Mm. I want to move on now. <laughs> now my foot's been rammed. Do your tour, Jules, because you're on tour at the moment. We're on tour. We've got our best of record. We don't care. And Mick Talbot, he'll be here later. And yes. he must have... He must sample one of these roast potatoes. You oh, see, really I good. won't eat this one. I couldn't really enjoy it. In the, I mean, the idea of enjoying a nice Nan's dinner live on television, it's a contradiction. You yeah. can do it. Mm. Okay. Afterwards, yes. <laughs> okay, well, what's we'll that afterwards? But he, I'm going to, I've got the feeling, because the hardest thing, I think, when, uh, and this is what we say when we're on tour, is to get a decent potato. But can I say that Michael, you see that there? Perfect crispiness around the outside yes. there. Yeah. Yes. He's managed to get that off. So many times I'm confronted by an amateur potato and it's not on. Me. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a when you go touring? You need. Mm. Do you have like a rider? You know when you have a special list of requirements. Yes, you have to. Because Van Halen, this is true. Van Halen demand they have 24 packs of M&Ms put in a bowl with the brown ones taken out. Mm -hmm. That's true. And Ian Brown demands he has 24 hand towels. Ah, oh, does he have oh, hand maidens? I, I don't know why he has those. Well, Do you have <coughs> <similar>? <coughs> we have uh, certain things that you have yeah. to have because, and, and, he, it, and you've got to be precise, otherwise the wrong thing will come to you. And there's a lot of us. If there's like sort of 15 or something in the band, 16 people in the orchestra, and if they've all got two friends, how many people is that backstage? Well, yeah. add it up. I can't, but it's a lot of people. 47. <laughs> yeah. Precisely, at least. Yeah. So you've got to have a set amount of sandwiches. We also always Ooh. have postcards. <laughs> Yeah. So everybody can write postcards to people then. And you have to have a certain amount of drink. And if you, unless you said the certain amount, they'd never guess how much. They'd just get four bottles of beer, then there'd be fights breaking out. And yeah. So you do have to be very specific, yeah. And demand your, your, of course your, you your beer intake and stuff like that. Of course you do. Would you demand special things, Jennifer, if you and Dawn I have to. Talk? Dawn does it for me. <laughs> <laughs> what does she demand? She has a chocolate rider. Mm. That is um, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a big one, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> a huge chocolate rider comes in every night. <laughs> <laughs> does, does, she, does she share it round? And then we lick it and send Let's. it home. <laughs> <laughs> Take that thought, put it in the pocket, and, and, and move on, ever upwards, <laughs> onwards. Um, Save it for the late night show. Save exactly. it for the late night show. Exactly. Okay. Oh, I, I want to ask you, Jennifer, about two things. I'm throwing you basically oh. a publicity ball. Yes. You can do with it as you wish, but you've mm. got a lot of things happening. You've got the, the Ad Fab video coming out, the yes. Collectione. Mm. The small bits to make it palatable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's just basically lots life. of good bits. Yeah, there's got a bit of um, 
I'm going to say original material in there, <laughs> stuff we made up on the spot to um, sell it. Um, but there's that. <laughs> I'd buy it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good stuff. Yeah. Although I have to say it myself because no one else will. Um, I think it's pretty good stuff. Yeah. We're saying it's pretty good course, stuff. Man. Well, and, it's, and also you were in Friends, weren't you? You appeared on the number one. Top. I've been in two mm. episodes of Friends. Two? I went over and did one, another one. What? Oh. <laughs> wow, my character had short legs, but legs. As are they, they are say. They nice, the friends. Gorgeous. Are they? Uh, Who's yeah. the most gorgeous? The friendly I friends. don't know. It's just like a chocolate box selection of gorgeousness. <laughs> <laughs> but are they like Girls. really kind of like that no. no. kind of like, or are they nice? Nice. I don't know who you were doing? I don't know. Bulgarian. I don't know. Bulgarian. I don't know. Bulgarian. I don't know. <laughs> no, they're extremely good. Although you have, you do feel when you're speaking to Courtney, say. Courtney. Or Jennifer, say, yes. <laughs> that you feel like a big bear. <laughs> Do you feel like two people coming towards oh, them instead of one? They you feel yeah. you could just sort of pull them out the way quite easily. Well, they have to wear lead so shoes. Very small, very small, but very lovely and very not very morally. Nice. You don't know I mean that. Just physically. Yeah, physically. Because you know Courtney, don't you? Courtney Cox. My best friend. Morally. She's your best friend. Well, no. She went out with an agent. <laughs> uh, it was my agent in America for ten minutes. Um, and uh, <laughs> and uh, that was very good. And she, she was. What can you do in ten minutes, minutes that qualifies as being a relationship? Never quite a long time. I'm not here to discuss their private relationship. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, prepared to, I'm prepared to reveal that she was very nice, and we spent one whole Sunday with her. And um, she ate and ate and ate. And then I was playing a video game. She said, "Could you keep the noise down because I'm trying to watch my favourite program, Friends?" <laughs> no, her no, Friends was not at that time. All right. No, uh, it was The Love Boat. <gasps> Right Shiny and new. Yes. Come aboard. We're expecting you. Um, I want to talk about Beat Root, which I read last night, and it's very good. And it's all about basically you travelling around, you know, Havana, Dublin. It's going to be a new BBC series. Um, and you've got lots of travel tips in it. What do you reckon to the audience out there would be, you know, your top travel tip? Well, the first thing I probably say is don't. Uh, don't ever go out. Don't ever go out. Um, beyond your letterbox is as far as you want to get. <laughs> Peering out. That's as far as you want Curtains. to go. Curtains. Yeah, look at your neighbours uh, and travel for other people. If you must travel, always take your own sandwiches with you because um, you'd be so... If you're on an aeroplane, if they had Nan's dinners, Nan's Airlines, that'd be yeah. good. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> that would be 60s pilot. Yes, <laughs> yeah. all smiley, a bit of a Trolley old dollies. That's all right. Yes. Yeah. No, um, that would be nice. Uh, but the, the food, on even, even the, the, uh, in the posh bits of the plane, is never good. So take your own sandwiches. Uh, yeah. It certainly is a, a tip. And a passport, of course. Yeah. Um, it's that preferably nice, thick cheese and piccalilli sandwich, something like that. Good call. And also, once you're abroad, uh, it's best to take your own food, because often... It's an awful lot of food. I mean, say you're going away for two weeks. Well, I mean, you've got to really plan for that. Nobody said it's going to be easy. I didn't no, say that. I mean, I'm with I, you. I, 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 <laughs> but, uh, and ideally, I, I mean, you'd take Michael so you could make, make, make nice take Nan's Michael. dinners. I'd take, take Michael anywhere. The top tip for travelling, mm. take, take Michael. Michael with you. Simple as that. Now, you mentioned Good passports. Point. What does it actually say? What's your job description on your passport, both of you? What's your job description? Funny I'm lady. Shame to say it. Hilarious. It says actress. And they haven't got me yet. But they will one day. I like actors that strong. I'm just waiting for him to look at me and go, no. <laughs> you cannot describe yourself as an actress. I've still got students on mine. So much, so much. <laughs> Jules, what's, what does it say on yours? Uh, expert. <laughs> it's an expert. I mean, does it say what at or is it just general? No, I thought it, just, it might impress them and they'd start being hurried through different towns. Oh, expert, he better get through. Licensed to be an expert. Yes, yeah. That is a cool thing. OK, right now, it is literally time to ram-raid the shop window of chat and make off with those televisions of truth. It's the late lunch, big three. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now, big three, lads. First, firstly, Jennifer, mm. then Jules. Your favourite Disney film. Ooh, favourite Disney film? Um, Mulan. Same here. Love Girl it. power at its rawest Excellent. and most beautiful. Fantastic. And very good merchandising. <laughs> yes. And <laughs> Jules. <laughs> Jules. <laughs> I think if it wasn't Fantasia, it would be Bumble Boogie, a 1940s cartoon where a bee goes and then plays a the piano. Oh. I would like that, wouldn't yeah. I? Tip top. Oh, right, second question in Big Three. Do you have any superstitions, Jennifer? In your own time. Pass. Have no idea. Pass. Jules. Um, I like throwing salt over my shoulder 
but I'm never sure when to do it. Can I just say that's the wrong action? You go like that. It's a cross. It's cross. right to left. Yeah, cross. Because like you're missing the devil there. <laughs> and you've got to be hitting a passerby. But that's before you had your Ponzi sort of grinders, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 you've got enormous dandruff. Jennifer, you passed on one. Do you have any superstitions? Any thoughts? You don't have to if you don't want to. I don't say the... Macbeth word, is that the one? You oh, said it! Yes, you to. said it! Oh, you, no, you've just said Scottish it! You've said it's Scottish play. play. Oh, that's right. Right! <laughs> 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 oh, Do you always I tread on mirrors? Say the Scottish play. <laughs> that's you, my thing. You say, say the mmm word. You see, that's I accept that. That's cool, right, number three. If you were reincarnated, would you come... <laughs> would you come back as a man or a woman? I have a choice. Think? Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'd come back as a woman. Good call. Ooh. That's what we said. Yeah. Yeah. Pressure's on you now, Jules. Jules. Will you stay with the gender? Will, Will it be gender? Jules or Julia? No. <laughs> no, I would come back as an inanimate object, perhaps a lovely harpsichord oh. that, that would belong to Naomi Campbell. And then <laughs> she could finger me daily. <laughs> you all to tick with you over the next three minutes as we take our break. Join us after that break with Jules and Jennifer. We'll be playing the upper crust of outdoor games, bread and butter, croquet. And Jules Holland will be performing live. We'll see you in three. <laughs> with Jules Holland, who said his passport calls him an expert. Mm -hmm. And Jennifer Saunders, who said the Friends cast are a chocolate box of gorgeousness. Yeah. Over the last couple of weeks, we have pioneered the fashionable new sports of pumpkin basketball and cheese balls. Remember them? <laughs> Tonight, we bring you the new rock and crusty roll of after-dinner entertainment. <laughs> What's happened to my voice? <laughs> I'm transmuting into a man. It's bread and butter croquet! <laughs> You get to choose your mallets now. Please, please. Lads. Now, which, mallets. which cob will please. attract you? Yes. I'll take this large cob here. Good. Very good. Will you go for the small, <laughs> small <laughs> tins? Um, small tins. There's just no avoiding it. It's not, no. I hope there's going to be no in the end, though. OK, I shall take this one. Thank you. <laughs> Jennifer's got a bloomer and Jules has a <laughs> small white tin. tin. OK. But, yeah. Now, the house rules are simple. You must use your stale bread mallets to knock your bread rolls through the four hoops. Cool. Thus. <laughs> Aiming for the pack of slightly salted butter in the middle here. Well, you've been through the full. You've got to yes. go through the full. Uh, yeah, First the person full. to hit the butter wins. Now, as you know, and I'm sure you're familiar with this rule, in croquet, the person with the longest name goes first. Of course. Boring, boring stuff, but we've got to get sure, it over and done sure, with. Sure. Right. Jennifer Saunders' name is longer than yours by four letters, <laughs> which means you get to go first. <laughs> this, this, you know, this is an important sporting event, Jennifer. Come on. You, you've got to take alternate goes. Are you ready? OK. <laughs> right, and the winner, I should say, will have a clip of their latest project show. Yes. Yay! Right! <laughs> oh, please, band! Band! band. Please, please let it be me. <laughs> some, some carefully crafted different music. Thank you. Please. They're please. Mutineering. Please. Please, band. Please, Come on, band. lads. Jazzy like it. We said crafted music. Like Jennifer it. Saunders hits the roll. Boom! Down. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Jules oh. Holland. You're up next. The crusty cob is yours. Here you go. Hey. Yeah. Is now. Where do I get it from? Here. Oh, there. Jules. Here. Go through the hoop, Jules. <laughs> it's not ice hockey. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. Jules. Hit Jules. Go. Yeah, yeah. Go through the hoop, Jules. <laughs> Jennifer. It's there like a shooter. Goes. Very strong. She's Jules. in the lead. Off you go, Jules, with your tin. Jules. Casual. And strong. We like it. No. Jennifer, dear Jennifer, will you try and hit the button? Yeah, love? <laughs> Here she goes. Oh. Jennifer, hang on. Star of aiming. Yeah. 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 Come on. There's no room for bad sportsmen 
chip in, in, in bread croquet. <laughs> Jennifer, you were very, very strong. That was skill. That's a fun game. Jules. Sorry, mate. <laughs> no. You said like Jules. But... Jennifer is the winner, so we'll be seeing her clip very, very shortly. Mm -hmm. Please oh. resume your seats now, lads, on the Raspberry Lounge. Come forth through the mock lounge where nobody really lives, but uh, <laughs> apparently that's what Channel 4 think that every... Every lounge looks like. There you go. Take a seat here. Take a seat there. Do you want us? In fact, I'll tell you what. Just could have done this before. Let's rearrange it totally. I like that. Should we do it? Like this is live like... seat rearranging. Now, the phones oh. are as hot as Ian Beale and Gina. So we're going straight to line one. Hello, line one. Hello. Hello, who's that? <laughs> it's Darren. Hi, Darren. Who's your question for? Uh, for, for Jennifer. Fire away. If, if you had to choose a Spice Girl to be your best friend, which one would you choose? Which Spicy would be your best friend? Oh, well, now, do I want a United Nations representative or a singer? <laughs> um, I'm going to go for a singer, and I'd probably go for a sporty one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, cool. Sporty or a big, yeah. always. How about you, Jules? Any, any preferences to the, to the spices? Um, I, I, might, uh, I might get scary. <laughs> OK. All right. So, scary and sporty wait. winning out here. OK, now, Mel in the audience. Hello. Hey, I'd like you to have this Thank as you. a memento of Krusty Croquet. Thank you. The game we <laughs> just played. That. <laughs> that was Jules who broke that in a fit of pique. Craig, what's your uh, what's your question? It's to Jules, and it's you don't need to shout quite loud. Though. He's just over there. <laughs> Hello there, Jules. Hello, mate. Have in, you seen into the mic, doll? Have you seen Paulie Yates lately? And if so, how is she? Very well, thank you. I'll send her your regards. She'll be delighted. <laughs> You there, if you could speak up next time, though. <laughs> I'm going to go to the phones again. Hello, distant subscriber. Hi. Ashley, I think it is. Yeah. My powers worked. Ashley, who's your question for? It's for Jules. Then uh, far away. Um, I was wondering if he still goes to Glastonbury Festival, and if so, does he sleep in a tent? I do. We played at Glastonbury this year, uh, and uh, I know I take a living wagon, and I stay in that is it a to caravan? avoid the mud. Uh, uh, mud. Yes. A living wagon. I don't want in. to. I don't want to bring this program into the detailed worlds of the differences between caravans Caravani. and living wagons. Yeah. I don't think that would be right at, at this time of the evening. Okay. All right. That's, I accept that. <laughs> Jennifer, do you go to rock festivals? No, never. Never. You <laughs> lie. <laughs> you came oh. with me. <laughs> <laughs> We apologise for Jules's language that we sorry. don't want. We sorry. don't want that said to anyone, to let alone our esteemed. I went to the rock oh, festival. I went, went to Reading. There you are. Sir. When. Um, yes! <laughs> <laughs> and I was standing and I was looking at um, some people on the stage and just bottles of horrible liquid were thrown at them and I resolved never to go to one again. Did you sleep in a tent? Did I sleep? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was an excellent Caravan. place. Caravan. A living Car wagon. Yes, exactly. There were, there were yeah. two living, living wagons. Wagon? Ashley, cheers. <laughs> Thanks for your question. No oh. sense in trying to hush it up now. <laughs> it's all out now. <laughs> now over to Mal in the audience again. Rowena, 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 Rowena. Are you scared? No. <laughs> OK. Uh, Rowena, who, who's your question for? It's to both of them. Go for it. What's the worst party you've been to? Oh, oh I can't oh. see that. <laughs> of course you can. Go on. Oh, I don't know. It's probably a sort of executive drinks. Is probably so the media the... party. Mm, that would have been media one of the, parties. probably the best party I'd ever been to. Was it? I've never been asked to a party. Oh. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you boogie woogie all over town. I know it for a you fact. You know when you're partying. So real friends good, media parties not so strong. No. That's basically the, you know, the gist of it. Okay, line four. Oh, oh, sorry. Hi, is it? Is... Hi, Hi is it... uh, it's Chris. Hi, Chris. How you doing? I'm oh, fine, thanks. And where are you calling from? Uh, Ballyclare, Northern Ireland. Hooray. Just saying hooray to... You could have been from anywhere, just hooray. The, the, the sort of <laughs> random thing I say in a rather lame way. Um, who's your question for? Uh, it's for Jules, actually. OK. Uh, yeah, I was just uh, wanting to know. I've got a bit of a problem, you see. I've just bought a new pet rabbit, and I was wondering if he's got any ideas for a name. It's not Pet Rescue. This is late lunch. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I it's think... a bit of a problem. Need what, what's, your, what, to what's, your, what's your family name? My family name's Jules. Jones. So his second name is going to be Jones. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what sort of age is a rabbit? It's, uh, well, it's just a new one. It's just a wee baby. Is it a male? One. Male and rabbit? You can uh, call yeah. it Peter Jones. Could be Vinny. Could be. Actually, my dad's called yeah. Peter Jones, so that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Joe Jones, that'd be nice. I think, best whenever. Um, uh, uh, I had a friend that had a cat, uh, cat called Ian, and that always made me laugh. I don't know why. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Calling animals by very simple. I've always wanted to call a cat something like. Deborah. Yeah. Something yeah. the most well-sounded name. I've got a dog called Beryl. 
That's an excellent name. I think Beryl for a rabbit would be very good. Beryl's a very good name. Beryl we like. Yeah. Beryl. Cool. I'll set them. That's okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> well, that's been of some help, anyway. <laughs> so you've got, have you, you've, you've got pets then that you've named? And these, Ian, is Ian still with us or has it flown away to the pet, <laughs> What's that? pet thing? Oh, we've, we've got, got to do I've the old do this. of the cushion like Mel. Makes. Everyone does this. For some reason, I haven't got one, so I'll just yeah, do we'll it to my legs. We'll have a cushion each. There you go. Oh, thanks. That's better. I don't know why we're doing this. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, Jules, you right and now. your esteemed colleague Mick Talbot are going to play us out. Yeah. You saw an example of our performances earlier with Jazz You Like It. Sorry about that. Any way we can contribute? Any way we can help? Yeah, I thought there was, that wasn't you with Jazz You Like It. The beards, wasn't it? George Michael. Uh, the, the, jazz, yeah. jazz beards. <laughs> the, the jazz beards. I tell you what, they're going to go far. I'd like to, if I could get that group on later or just supporting our, sh our tour, I'd love you they to come would Lovely. Don't but encourage I, I'd them. like to invite you to come and play percussively. Well, the cushions, if we you like. We shall do that. You know, or I've got some Tupperware that we've had. Mick Talbot's playing the organ with us. Okay. Lovely. Now we'll go to the Tupperware. Now, since Jennifer won the croquet, she gets the chance to have her video played. So here we go. Absolutely fabulous. Anyway, sweetie, can I just say that at least you're not fat like me, hmm? I mean, what you two don't seem to realise is that inside of me, inside of me, there's a thin person just screaming to get out. Just the one, dear. <laughs> See you again. OK, before we, uh, before we get grooving, it just remains me to thank Rocky Sinbad, Michael Stark, for his excellent roast dinner, and to Jules Holland and the lovely Jennifer Saunders for joining us to eat it. See us, see us, see us next week with Bjork and Vic and Bob. Goodbye! <laughs> Take it away, Jules and Mick. OK, this, can I just show you a little bit you're going to do? No, hang on. Sorry. No, no, that's good. Keenness. I love keenness. Okay. I think it's... Hang on, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> so, just show where it was going to go. Yeah. Yeah.